hey there lovers and friends welcome back to my channel this is another flashback vlog in 2020 i began the year with a very much a conscious effort with growing my hair so this video captures a new routine that i wanted to add in 2020 and i will update you soon on how it's going in 2021 check this out friends y'all know i'm on my hair growth Hey lovers and friends, y'all know I'm on my hair growth journey and I am not playing. It is the weekend and I don't think I'm going to be done doing my hair until Sunday. Today's Friday. This is going to take me all through Sunday because I got to do the wash. I got to do a protein treatment. Um, blow, blow out my ends. Oil treatment. Um, color. And then put my hair away and then apply a whole on um, wig. So... Um, this weekend, I don't think I have a lot going on, so it is perfect for that. I just wanted to show y'all real quick all of the protein treatments that I have available to me and what I'm ultimately going to decide. I have all the Apogees, so I found the classic two-step protein treatment. Um, it comes with the balance and moisturizer, which it, looks like, which it looks like I've used before. But word on the street is that like after you take the protein treatment out, you can use any deep conditioning mask. But for the sake of I have it. And I want to get rid of it. I'm going to be using this today. And then I guess I also got the Keratin um, Reconstructure Kit as well. I don't know the next time I'm going to be use that, using this. I have to do some research on how often you can use this. But I can tell you right now, this Apogee um, says that it stops hair breakage. It rebuilds, rebuilds hair structure for six weeks. Ideal for process or natural hair, then I'm going to be using this quite a bit often because my goal is to retain length. And I have always dealt with a lot of breakage and weak hair. So I'm going to be using this until I can't anymore. Once that is done, um, I looked at the ingredients. If y'all remember, I don't even know if I saw this video up. I had this neutral neutral protein filler, and I originally got this because I overprocessed coloring a human hair wig and i was trying to trying to bring it back and word on the street people saying that this is a dupe um for olaplex which is super super expensive it may not be an exact dupe ingredients wise but it's supposed to do something similar nonetheless this is also an excellent they said an active protein hair conditioner what you can do is add some water and turn this into a spray and put that in a refrigerator I'm really, really feeling this. Um, I'm really glad that I pulled this out, even though I'm not gonna be, I'm not going to use it yet. Um, the ingredients on this for me are life: hydrolyzed keratin, keratin uh, protein, hydrolyzed reed protein, keratin amino acids, aloe. Um, some really, really good solid ingredients in here, and I think putting this in a spray bottle may be able to use this apply it a little bit more easier now um, what I'm fitting to do is go shampoo my hair it is late so this like I said it's gonna be a process but I did find a hack on YouTube shout out to quite a few youtubers who did this maybe I'm late to the game but um, I'm gonna show y'all how this um, how I end up applying this because this thing be dripping and cracking and I can remember this is why I have probably had this for three years and haven't used it because it gives me nightmares whenever I have to truly do a protein treatment because this stuff is so gooey and, and yucky so I'm hoping this hack works out and maybe you guys already heard about it but I will sh see you soon but for right now I need to wash my hair <laughs> um and um, I'll show you guys what I use to wash my hair um, if if y'all haven't seen it before, but um, this is going to be my routine. I wash my hair twice. Actually, let me show y'all right now. Um, I wash my hair twice. I like the old school um, cream of nature, and I still have it. Yo, when they stopped made it, making this, I went and bought it. <laughs> and I think they stopped making these joints like ten years ago. I don't know why y'all changed the formula. This joint is life. Again, it has um, hydrolyzed milk protein, wheat germ oil, honey, like really, really good stuff. And I love the way that it makes my hair feel and it's very moisturizing. This is the second shampoo. My first shampoo, I tried to do something really stripping. And F what y'all heard, y'all. Um, 
what I've been liking for real for real is Shea Moisture. I found this Jamaican black castor oil strengthening and restore shampoo. It has shea butter, peppermint oil, and apple cider vinegar in it. And it leaves my hair feeling really, really clean. And I like the peppermint oil to put on my scalp. Again, I'm, I'm on hyper growth, hyper, hyper growth mode. So, um, that is kind of the two that I'm fitting to use. I washed twice and then I'm going to dry and try to get to this hack to show you all how we gonna put this protein treatment in and get our lives together okay see y'all soon next shot next thing we're gonna see is me applying or me working with the protein treatment okay I just put the uh what is it the hair dryer on and here's what it came to i mean the hair is pretty wet i do have some pieces here that are still wet that um, i'll put the hair dryer on to make sure it's completely dry and then i'm going to rinse it out with the balancing shampoo i actually am filling up that i'm gonna keep the balancing shampoo on for 10 minutes and then um balancing shampoo balancing moisturizer on and then uh perhaps take that out and then do a deep conditioning overnight and then tomorrow i want to show you all the new hair dryer i got um I'm late. It's like this Revlon one step, two step thing to blow out my ends, leave in conditioner and all types of stuff. And then we shall put on a wig. Yeah, I'm just going to put on some type of lace front that maybe can last uh, a few days to leave my hair alone. And that's that, y'all. So y'all want to stay tuned for this. Um, let me get these joints right here. It like... I thought it was going to be no mess, but it ended up like dripping all over me. So definitely got to get in the shower. <sighs> this is life. This is all product residue. But better than anything. Got this little head thing from like TJ Maxx. But it's already kind of a pre-done turban, but... It is great. I have my hair deep conditioning underneath here it's for me to sleep on it. And then tomorrow we'll be back at it. I almost didn't want to, but I'm glad I did the deep conditioning and I'm going to sleep on it. Rinse it out in the morning and then really excited to try this Revlon One Step Blow Dryer thing. And seeing if my methodology that I have in my head around keeping my hair stretched um works out for me then i'm gonna put on a lace front i think i'm trying to think what i have like a lace frontal wig glue it down i'm trying to think what i have i have one in mind that i have one in mind that i probably put on and wear for the next week i need to pop a color but i'm also know that um i'm going to be in and out the office for a few meetings so it can't be something too crazy but i also don't want to do human hair either honestly i think um once i come back from vegas that oh shoot well 
Well, I was thinking that once I come back from Vegas that I will put in some faux locks because I've been kind of like itching for that. But we'll just see. We'll just see. We might have to do back to back like lace frontal wigs and for me to get some stuff out of my collection, primarily like my synthetic wigs. But right now I'm about to lay it down. Um, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 11.43 p.m. So it took me about two and a half hours to get through the protein treatment, washing my hair, and now deep conditioning. So that's not bad. Um, and then I was noticing some dry spots on my skin. So I had to break out the old shea butter. So if you see a lot of flakes on me, and this is like shea butter fresh from, from Ghana on my skin because of the weather, I noticed some dry spots. So... I'm also deep conditioning my whole entire skin. But what I'm about to do is about to just chill. I don't even feel like watching a movie. I'll just go try to finish editing some video. Try to get this video to freaking, um, what is it? Uh, trying to get this video to process so that I can post it for next week. But stay tuned with this little hair journey I got going on, y'all. And we'll see what the final, final um, feels like. I am so sad my hair is so short. But I, I think, I think by paying attention to it more, I'm really going to be able to get this growth. Okay, lovers and friends, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye.